Okay, welcome back, guys. So, um, there's one last thing we're supposed to do. One last thing we're supposed to do is to work on the. Let me turn up the shadowing. Is to work on the reflection on the body. And also, I think I would like to add some more <laughs> redness on the lip. I think this should be for the lip. Oh, it's not. Why is it taking so long to load? Okay. Mm. I need some more redness on the upper part of the lip, so. I will go to type in that brush here. It's C on the keyboard <coughs> board. Okay, maybe we'll introduce a new tone to this something a bit pinkish. More of a brighter pink to it. Uh, the black marks. Is it painting at all? Oh, okay, it's painting. Just need a bit more pink on the upper part of the lip. Yeah, something is covering it. Something seems to be covering it. Oh, 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 I see. Turn this down. Now turn this down also. Let's see if we can erase most of that on this edge okay maybe bring in a bit more on top of this like so see next now for the reflectivity of the skin so i would create a new layer uh, mm. Let me name this skin coat. Uh, okay, reflective coat. Okay, let's isolate this. So, um, let's see. Uh, we need a darker shade that kind of see this properly though. So let me duplicate this. I'll turn everything off apart from the color. And I'll give this a dark. Let me hide this for now. You should just kind of help us see the reflection on the skin a bit more. Okay. It will just to see this reflectivity of the skin some more. Okay. So turn this on. I only need I only need reflect the reflection for this. So add the black marks. Add a can you add the bit marks marks instead? Let's use uh okay let's start with the ambient occlusion let's view the reflectivity roughness map for this uh 
all the levels adjustments okay let's see what we have you can see let me bring this back you can see where we have this darker tone we have more reflection on this region let's see if we can invert this let's see what we have you can see on the inverse we have more reflection on the part that is a bit darker which we should work let's see let's see if we can play with this a bit more Okay. Yeah, I'd like to get something a bit rough like so. Okay. Yeah, I think this should work. Let's turn off this black shade. Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, it's too rough. It's too rough. It's too rough. Take this back. Let's bring back some more reflectivity to this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is a good one. At least a good base. This is a good. No, not a good base though. But this will be like on top of it. So my base. Let me duplicate this. Drag this down. It's M on the keyboard. Add a bit math maps to this. And I'm going to be using the curvature. Curvature for this. Let me hide this for now. Maybe we'll put this. Let me name this irreflective for what your code. Okay. Uh, I think I'll drag this down instead. I'll turn this on now. Okay. Let me turn of this darkness off. Okay. And bring it back on. And let's turn this some more. Let's see what we have here. So this is your roughness. Turn this off. This is yeah, this is actually, this will actually work. We just need to find a good blend for it. Yeah. 
maybe you want to invert this uh, the levels invert the reason why I inverted is because I want more reflectivity around the eye something like this let's see No, not to, not to find the perfect blend. Okay, let's see if we use multiply. If we can get this on top of it, now that doesn't seem to do much. Pass through, doesn't do much either. Normal multiply. No, multiply. Multiply no. What if we drag this on top? <laughs> what if we do pass through? Multiply. Multiply. Nah, nothing. Uh, I'm trying to find a good balance for the two of them. Mm. Mm. Do we find a good balance for this? Okay. I think uh, how do I find the right balance for this? I would like to keep this. I would like to have this on top, but then still, still kind of keep some measure of this on top of it. Let me drag this up. Let's see if we can, can find a good balance. Yeah, it won't work on normal. It has to be on reflex, refl roughness rather. I think we can find the right balance. Yeah, I think we can find the right balance with this. By just taking this all the way up and yes, this will work. This should work. I think somewhere around there should be fine. Let's turn off this dark shade. Let's see what we have. Mm, the skin still looks fairly rough. I need more reflection on the skin. Definitely need more reflection on the skin. Um, let me duplicate this. I'll name this. Move all the marks. All the black marks. Name this. Screen reflection. Reflective. Reflection. Reflective base. On this dark shade again. On this side, I would
kind of overlapping everything. Let me put this on top. Let's see. Why is it not working? Oops, forgive me. Some black black marks is there. Let's move the marks. <laughs> Let's move the marks. Yeah, we see can see it now. We put this on top. Maybe under here. Let's see what happens when we put this under here. It's kind of a difficult stuff to kind of find the right balance. Maybe it's maybe it's the light circle that's kind of deceiving me, not really. Show me what I need to see. Let's try a different light setup. Nah, this is not really giving me what I want. I was trying to see if the skin is reflective enough on a different light setup. I think I might, I might just have to settle for this. Okay. Um, let me go back to the Tomoko Cloud, Tomoko Studio instead. This one seems to be giving us more detail. Maybe a bit more. But with the white skin, with, with the entire texture, we can hardly see the reflectivity of the skin that much. I think this is a bit good one. Since this is fine the way it is. If I turn this on, this kind of just does everything down. Let's see the roughness for this. Probably take this down some more. I think I can live with this. Yeah, I can live with this. This will be, this will be just fine. The one I when I turn this dark shade off, it's not really it's not so obvious anymore. But this will work just fine. Let me just do a quick save. There is the need to come back here and make and make some adjustments. Can always come back and make some adjustments. Oh yeah, yeah, one more, one last thing. I think. Duplicate this.
this used to be for the lips creating the lips let me put this here instead turn on that dark shade or the black marks to this so I'm basically trying to repaint some more reflectivity on the lip okay probably some more also around the uh, lights I think this will actually help, kind of help me paint some a bit more reflectivity on some specific regions. Just to get a bit more shine to it. Okay. Just a bit more shine. Mm, okay. Take this down some more. Back is not going to be visible though, so let's sink. This should help. All right, all right. <clears throat> Do a quick save. Okay, turn off this dark shade off again. Let's bring everything back on. Turn on shadowing. Let's do a quick save. So let's just do a quick render inside of Subtans Painter. Let's see what we have. So I need to get the light up. That seems to be seems to be a better angle for this. Blackening years and surface catching, which Take it to update my sort of application to be able to. This is like a bug to show up on the render. Because I'm using the out shader in here, that, that's probably why. But for skin wise, reflectivity wise for the skin, I think it's fine. Yeah, this should, this should be fine. So I'll leave this as it is. In the next lesson, we're just going to export out the, export out the texture for this and then. I'll continue working on it so in the next lesson bye for now